Even though people might have first become interested in your site because they're fans of the niche that you're in, in the end, people do want to know who's behind the site. Just like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, they want to know who's the wizard behind the curtain. And again, this isn't about pretend transparency. It's just about putting a face to a name and putting a little bit of personality behind the niche guru that you are. One of the ways that you can share a piece of who you are is to publish a day in the life kind of post where you document your typical day, one in which you're participating in your niche, obviously. So let's look at some examples on how a day in the life kind of piece could be structured. So here's a blog post from Pat Flynn who writes the Smart Passive Income blog and he literally just did a day in the life of Pat. And he's an internet marketer and so he's sharing what that internet marketing lifestyle is for him. And you know, for a lot of us who do this business, it isn't about yacht parties and uh, you know, I don't know, Vegas VIP lounges. It's about just having the day-to-day -day freedom in our life to do the things that we want to do and that's important to us. And I think that that's part of what Pat was trying to share in his post here because a lot of people in this industry get caught up in all of that flashy stuff. And, and that isn't what my goal was when I started this, but I'm going on a tangent here. Let's get back to what a typical day in the life is uh, for Pat and, and how his post can relate to you in your niche and your own sort of day in the life thing. Again, it's got to be a day where you're actually participatory in your niche, of course. So if it's something like mountain biking that you only do on the weekends, then you would obviously want to create this kind of post for those particular days, not the days when you maybe go to your nine to five and wait until you can go mountain biking, right? So he starts up with when he wakes up in the morning. He talks about uh, his baby, he talks about his wife, and he talks about he makes breakfast and the kind of things that he's doing for his own health in terms of what he's eating. Not specific to internet marketing, is it? But the readers of his blog are still interested in what he's up to in all aspects of his life. And that is a really great example of what this kind of post is about. It isn't about, oh, I'm gonna leave that part out because that's not about internet marketing and that's what his blog is centered on. No, it's about, uh, leaving all of those details in so that people can get a feel for who you are, in this case, for who Pat is. So he talks about uh, what he prepares for breakfast, and then it's playtime with his baby, and then it's time for mom to wake up, and then they do more playtime, lunchtime, nap time. And then he goes and does his actual work time later on in the afternoon. And he says that he occasionally checks in a little bit earlier than that. But his real sit down work mode is later on in the afternoon. This is where we get to the real uh, him participating in his niche, in his marketplace point, which for him is the internet marketing point. So he goes into his office, he talks about how he's in work mode, he shuts the door to his office, he turns off, off his phone, he turns off Twitter and Facebook, he turns off Skype. And those are interesting details for people in any niche, not specifically that he turns off Skype, but these are the, the four or five things that he does to prepare himself for doing that work in his niche. So again, mountain biking, it might be that you get your gear on and then you drive out to the place where you're mountain biking and you fill up your canteen and, and that kind of thing. Uh, but he talks about his sort of little ritual about how he gets into the zone to be a part of his niche and, and to start participating in it. So again, that is uh, a great look at how somebody transitions from their normal life, which is what this post is about. People want to know about your normal life, but also how he transitions into his actual work or niche time. He talks about the things that he does not do during that time and the things that he does do during that time, uh, which may or may not apply to your particular marketplace, but it's something to consider. And then he talks about his office or his workspace. And that's another really great thing that you can also talk about when you're doing your niche uh, day in the life kinds of posts. What sort of workspace do you have? What tools do you use? He's got a picture in here for a visual that's always good. Visuals are good. He talks about after that time they hang out as a family. He has dinner. He talks more about the kinds of food that they're eating. They relax as a family. They put the kid to bed. 
he works out in the evening, and then sometimes in the evening he'll go back to his niche, he'll go back to his internet marketing, or sometimes they'll just watch TV and kind of hang out. And that's his typical day. And I mean, that's really interesting for somebody who aspires to this lifestyle and somebody who aspires to be really involved in backpacking or really involved in tomato growing or really involved in internet marketing want to know those kinds of details about the people who already are really involved in those niches. So I think that this was a really great example of a day in the life post uh, and one that we can all learn a lot from as far as doing those kinds of posts ourselves. Now, here's another one. This is, uh, <laughs> this is funny and he didn't mean it seriously. This is Merlin Mann who, uh, cracks me up, but it's another kind of look at one of these day in the life sort of posts or ways that you can share your, your, who you are and how you involve yourself in your niche on a day-to-day -day basis. So there was actually a video that I was looking for from, um, Amish Shaw of the magic bullet system where they did a tour of their Digispace offices, but I couldn't find that video. And it was a really great video. They showed you around the new office space and it isn't necessarily a day in the life, but it's a, it's a peek at what their day to day life is within that office space. You go in the kitchen, they got a chef, you know, it's all kinds of cool stuff. And it, and it was a fun video to watch, but I couldn't find it. So I thought that this was a really great alternative as far as a tour of one's office space. So let's take a peek at this video. And uh, I wanted to do another one of my screencasts on the um, minimalist uh, environment that I've created for myself so that I can get my work done. I have to have a distraction-free environment in order to uh, get eye of the tiger for the um, important work that I do. So I guess the best example is to start with my, um, this is my monitor where I, I type stuff. You can see it's kind of cool. I've got a thing that covers up the menu if I don't need to be seeing the menu. See how I do that? Ooh, that's my mouse moving there. That's kind of cool. Um, you'll notice that the monitor itself is, is, is completely blank except for dust, but, but it's a minimalist dust that I use. And so I can, you know, hide stuff and it'll like make, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, it makes my whole, just look away. I got another monitor over here that's minimalistic. It's just not on right now. So I guess for me, this is, it's a value um, because I think distractions to me are, a lot of Snapple bottles in here. Um, oh, so anyway, also I have a minimalist desk too. Um, this is a, right here, I don't know if you can see that's a minimalist X-Men book and I got a minimalist microphone and um, this is a minimalist uh, crane ginseng. It, it gives me energy and, and, and boners and I got a minimal. All right, well, you can see where that video is going. <laughs> But I want you to consider this anyway, even though it is, you know, very poorly filmed and it's a parody. I mean, that's part of his shtick. But nonetheless, those of us who are fans of Merlin Mann, which I am, really still got to take a peek at his work environment. And it's, and it's funny and it's ridiculous and it's over the top. But still, it's kind of a peek at his life. And it's still also another peek at his humor, which is part of his his shtick and his appeal. So if you want to see the rest of the video, uh, you go to Vimeo.com and look up Minimalist Desk or look up Merlin Mann and you'll be able to find it. And it had me LOLing, literally. Uh, so it, it's a good one. But now that we've seen how people can talk about their own lives, and again, that's about putting a face and a personality behind your brand or your website, but with this kind of post, you can also reach out to other enthusiasts in your niche. So consider asking your audience to share a day in their lives and how they participate in the niche. So that might be people who comment on your blog. That might be people who participate in forums related to your niche. You could literally just ask them, hey, I would really love to do a day in the life uh, piece on how you live your life around and with and what you do in this niche on a day-to-day -day basis. You can reach out to authors in the niche or speakers or other bloggers in your niche and ask them to participate in a day in the life series of posts. And this is something that you could do as a series. Every Friday is day in the life day and you find a different person in your marketplace and talk about a day in their life and how they participate in the niche. Now everybody's different and everybody you talk to will have a different way of approaching the niche. 
and how they integrate it in their daily lives and what they do around their time uh, outside of the niche to support their time in the niche. So your Uber fans and the folks who live and die and breathe by the niche will love these kinds of pieces and even the newbie folks will love this kind of piece because they're really enthusiastic and they want to know what the people who are real people in the niche, who are the gurus, who are the, the masters of the craft, they want to know how those people live their lives. And because these pieces give such an individual and unique perspective, they are a hit with just about everybody who lands on your site. 